Monday, April the 17th. Uh, it's a uh, day where I'm going back to work. I'm also going to be looking at one more apartment. So our landlord, he finally got back to us. After a full week of waiting, he finally got back to us. And he said that he wasn't going to keep us in our lease and we could look for other apartments or he could show us some apartments that he has. And so we're gonna look at a few that he has, but he can't show us till Wednesday. So we need to have some planned out in case this falls through with him. And then, yeah, so we have one apartment that we're looking at today. I'm sure there's gonna be a little bit more tomorrow. We're always looking. We've been looking for the past two days. Um, but yeah. Wednesday the 19th is Cheyenne's birthday. So today I also need to find something to get her for her birthday. Uh, I think I'm gonna do it between my job because I have I have to work at one place and I have to go over to the other place. I think I have an hour, hour and a half between that. So I'm gonna try to find something then. So let me fill you in on what's been going on in this apartment. So the past two days, I haven't been filming at all, but we saw the first sign of bed bugs in our bed, which is disgusting. Apparently the first thing you're gonna see from bed bugs is uh, little tiny blood stains in your bed, which is from when they're eating, when they're feeding off you in the middle of the night. If you roll over on top of them, they get smashed and then they leave your blood stains in the bed. So we have two or three of those in the bed, and I don't want to have to deal with the bed bugs. Um, but we got a cover for the mattress. You can get these bed bug covers. You slide it on there. They can't go through it. Um, yeah. And then... Yeah, so we contacted the management after that. And then they finally got back to us. Even though they were supposed to get back to us last Sunday. Um, and so... Yeah. Apparently we've talked to two or three, maybe four of our neighbors in this building. And they've all had problems with bed bugs over the past year. And even when we talked to the management, they're like, oh, well, we haven't had problems for six months. But it's like six months, that's nothing. They're still like the eggs are still alive in six months. But yeah, I'm going to go check out this apartment now. with just canceled he's pushing it to later so I'm not gonna be able to go see the apartment but Cheyenne will she's gonna go without me we we're supposed to meet at 12 but he wants to meet at 2 and I work at 1 30 so we're going into the city right now I'm gonna get I'm gonna go to Wells Fargo so we need to do some money stuff and then I'm gonna go to work just so different. Um, my goal is to be able to afford to move here next year. Hopefully I'll be able to do that or maybe the year after maybe. depending on depending on what this place that we're gonna move into from here is but yeah I want to be able to move here in the next couple years or at least have the option to move here to where like I would be able to if I wanted to but yeah we're gonna go in to get some coffee and we're going to the bank. <laughs> Chipotle. I had 10 minutes to get to work. You're, 
party? No. Are you serious? <laughs> um, Cheyenne's about to take the metro back home. And then she's gonna hang out with Nico. And then I'm gonna be at work all day. Honey, you can't use this clip. I wanted you to just do it with no audio because I just burped and then you're gonna hear it in the clip. <laughs> <laughs> just had lunch, now I'm ready to go to work. I have an hour and a half, two hours, I don't know how long it is. I think it's two hours here, and then I have to take the time in between here and there to go get a birthday present for Cheyenne. I just dropped off to Cheyenne, so she's not here. She doesn't think I'm getting her anything. Um, she thinks we're moving for her birthday, but I'm gonna get her a little something because I don't want to have her go with nothing on her birthday. But we'll see what we get her. I got the first part of Cheyenne's, uh, of her birthday present, which is this photo. But I'm really unhappy with the quality of it because apparently the, the photo I saved onto my phone was like a super small size of the photo. I wasn't expecting it to be like that. I'm really disappointed, but I don't have enough time to like change it. I'm not gonna have time tomorrow to do that. So I guess I'm just gonna have to deal with it like that until I can replace it. Um, now I gotta find a picture frame from somewhere. I have no idea where I'm gonna find a picture frame. I'm gonna check in the container store, but that's a long shot. And then I have like 30 minutes to do that and get back to work, so. Container store was a bust, but now I'm at Marshall's. I think I found some picture frames. They all kind of suck, though. Look. I just want like a basic picture frame. I think this one's gonna have to be it right here. Right here. I don't know. This all is is not working out the way I wanted it to be. Kind of frustrating. All right, so I found somewhere to sit. I was like in that line, and I thought that I started at 4.30 and it was like four o'clock, and I had 10, 15 blocks to walk after that. And so I was about to walk out of the line until I double checked my schedule, and then realized that I don't start at 4.30, I start at 5.30, so now I have an hour to kill. So I'm gonna put this picture into the frame. I should have done this stuff earlier so that in case this happened, or it's all blown out, I would have had time to fix it. But I'm gonna see if I can get time tomorrow. I don't think it's gonna happen. I really don't like that, like, I couldn't get Cheyenne anything for her birthday this year. It kinda, like, it always seems like right around April, it's like our hardest time of the year for some reason. I don't know why, but that's always her birthday. It's always the hardest time of the year for us, and I can never really like take her out and like treat her the way I want to. I always have to like be stingy with my money, but I mean, one day. The frame is a little bit too small, so I have to bend. <laughs> I hope this doesn't look bad. I don't like that. It could be a lot better, but I'm gonna fix this later. Super overexposed. All right, so let me take you off of here. Cheyenne went and looked at that apartment, and the apartment is awesome. It's I think $250 more per month, which no bugs. I don't know. Brand new building. We're gonna be the very first people living in this unit. Um, it's a little bit closer. We're gonna be a little bit faster on the train. All this other stuff. I didn't get a video of it because I was at work, but she sent me a little 
iPhone video, I think I'm gonna overlay it like right here while I'm talking. Right there. Um, pretty bad quality, but but yeah, I, we're gonna throw down a deposit on that right now. I don't know how it's gonna turn out. I don't know if we can get accepted or not, but this one looks really good. I'm really like, I really want this one. I really hate moving, but when it comes down to it, I mean, I've been finding bites on me every morning, new bites, and that's disgusting. I hate, I hate bugs. And I never thought the bed bugs was gonna be something I had to deal with, but that's my reality now, I guess. Um, it's getting, it's 5.09 right now. I gotta start heading back towards work. I went like all over the place trying to find this outdoor seating and I found it now. But I'm gonna go to work. After work, I'm gonna try to find a card, birthday card, and I'm out of work now. Uh, just heading home. That's it. I couldn't find anywhere that's still open that sells uh, cards, so I'm gonna have to try to head into town early tomorrow before work, because Cheyenne's birthday is the next day. Uh, yeah. I'll see you at home. I'll hopefully have dinner by then. At the metro, I'm coming down the stairs now. I'm gonna pop into Little Caesars for something to eat. I'm gonna head home. And then, I don't really have much more planned for the night. Can't unpack anything, because we're moving. Can't really pack anything, because everything that was unpacked is stuff that we immediately need to use. So, we're just kind of chilling. Just hanging out. But, Little Caesars, here we go. And that's that. Having Little Caesars next to your house as like the only immediate food to eat, like the only food that's like easy to eat without preparing something is probably the worst thing that's ever happened to me. Like, I really don't like Little Caesars, but I can't really cook anything. And if I go to this little shop that's behind me, it's like easily 20, 25 bucks for the two of us, which I can't really do that either. All right, it's like 11.45 now. Uh, I didn't end up doing anything else tonight other than just eating and editing and all the normal stuff. So it wasn't anything worth seeing for you guys. But coming to New York, it felt like everything went so well and everything went so perfect to get here. And then since we got here, like the second we got here, so much has gone wrong after that. But you just, you can't let it get you down. Like, I can't let it get me down. Or Because the second I start, like, feeling bad for myself or anything like that, it's just, it's going to be the end of it. Like, I, I just have to keep thinking, like, tomorrow's going to get better, tomorrow's going to get better, because it is going to get better. It's just something that has to be dealt with. And it sucks moving. It really sucks. But it's just something that has to be dealt with, and it has to be done. Um... But I'm really excited, after looking over this new place with Cheyenne again, I'm really excited. I didn't really get a good look at it the first time, but we have like a patio, or not a patio, a balcony. Um, we have, it's a brand new building. We have laundry in the building, not in the unit. Um, but yeah, the only complaint I have about the entire thing is that it's a walk up on the fourth floor. But I mean, whatever. No. I can walk up a lot of stairs every day, but, and we also have a bike room, which is awesome, so we don't have to carry the bikes up, so, yeah, I'm really excited. We still, like, I just filled out the application, so we still don't know if it's actually ours. I don't know why we wouldn't get accepted, like, we make them enough money, we have good rental history, so I think everything should be alright, but it's not 100% ours. There's a chance it could be a different place, but I really believe that this is going to be the place that I ended up with. But yeah, that's going to be it for tonight. Subscribe, like, and comment if you enjoyed today's video. Thanks for watching, and until next time, baby.